Hello and welcome to this data analysis video with me, James from Matador Software, where we're going to be covering my five steps to become a data analyst or business intelligence developer in 2022. Um, you're probably used to seeing me make SQL, Power BI and some Python content. By virtue of getting to do that and have nice conversations, I often get people asking me requirements or how they should learn. So I want to cover some of this and, and dispel any myths. So for me, the five steps, and I'm going to break these down interactively, would be you need to learn your key languages and tools, find a business issue to fix, that's critical, overcoming issues, Googling, improvements, reaching out to the community, um, interacting and learning things like LinkedIn and documenting your skills online. I would also add that there's lots of myths around expensive certification, degrees, and people don't really know what they stand. Data analysis and BI um, is, is an ever-evolving and fast-changing industry. Do you need a degree? No. Do you need expensive certification? No. You need to prove that you have your aptitude within these data tools and languages and you can solve business issues and documenting it for people to clearly see your demonstrable experience. And that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to break it down in steps, how you can do that within this video. So the first major complexity, I would say, comes in in learning languages and tools and which ones to learn and how to learn them. So you've got things like Excel, Power BI for data visualization or Tableau, um, SQL. And which SQL do you pick? MySQL, SQL Server, Postgre, um, Python, R. Both, uh, well, Python's an object oriented language in R primarily for, for statistics and, and data as well. So, what I would recommend is Excel is the ultimate self service tool. That's what people will use with your exports. Um, so, I would say tighten up on Excel first. Then, I would recommend working in Power BI for data visualization. Great flexibility with DAX, Power Query, um, and, and compatibility with the great Microsoft suite, even stretching to Power Automate and Power Apps now. SQL is essential. You need to know that if you're going to work with data, you need to learn scalability, how to improve models and performance. And Python and R, I would say Python's pretty much essential nowadays, and it's a requirement for most people. Um, and R is a nice to have. But how do you learn these things? Well, we're in 2022 now. You don't need to pay for expensive certification. YouTube has great creators. Um, Alex the Analyst, Kevin Stratford, you can see there, Avi Singh, um, Analytics with Nags. There's, there's so many great options, but sometimes that can be overwhelming. Um, I would always recommend going down the free route, especially when you're first learning new technology. And then you can gravitate to things like Udemy. You can see 10,000 results for Python. There's really no excuse that you can't be a great self-taught data analyst or BI analyst in 2022. There's so many options. It's just actually going through and selecting the right ones. So step number two on the roadmap you should really start as soon as you can to find business issues to fix, whether that's in your current role or replicated through free data sets and Kaggle or SQL, wherever, you need to start thinking like that because obviously you need to drive through your use of data tools, you need to drive business improvements, you need to help make data-driven decisions and show your value. So that's really important. Which brings us on to step three, overcoming issues and improvement by iteration. In order to be good at any sort of programming, um, and, and this stretches to data analysis, you need to beat the wall. You'll, you'll hit the wall and you need to know how to Google effectively, researching and essentially just be able to, to devote yourself, work hard to overcoming issues. Some things aren't always incredibly complex. They just take a lot of time and a lot of research, but we've got these tools like Google and YouTube at our disposal now. So, uh, and again, Googling um, effectively like this Python automation data analysis, as we do that, we're already returned with, with Python scripts to make our life easier. If we get stuck, for example, Microsoft has great documentation on DAX and Power BI, um, the, the data analytics coding language. We can then look up certain functions and figure out from there. And, and we need to learn to read documentation um, and work independently. That's That's a huge factor. So... In terms of step number four, a really important one for a few reasons. Reach out to the community and interact and learn. 
Um, for data analysis, Microsoft and LinkedIn have, have thriving communities. Reddit too deserves a mention, um, but there's, there's elements of not self-promoting there. So I'd say for me, LinkedIn has actually been the best community. I could prove some of my expertise, but also I, I learn every day from my feed through cultivating that, and that takes effort. But look here, if I search data analyst and data analysis groups within LinkedIn, I'm greeted by groups of 251,000 members, 509,000. In, in lots of varied topics, you see SQL, robotic process automation, data analytics, Python, so really fantastic resource and I'd encourage you to genuinely reach out to people and learn. Power BI um, community within Microsoft, again, Microsoft have a thriving community. Um, community blogs, news and announcements, learning, fixing issues. And one thing in the data analysis industry is that everything changes so quickly. So you need to be constantly on the ball and learning. And the last step, a huge one I would say, document your skills online and establish yourself. Now, this is crucial because by doing this, you can actually have job offers come to you or you can have people see you as an expert and have interests and conversations, build your network, learn. Um, and I would say YouTube, articles and medium, um, blogging, however you want to do it. For me, I've had many great conversations from my YouTube channel that obviously I'm posting this on now. But it was a case where I just had to put myself out there um, and I love helping others and and helping them see or learn from my mistakes and what I wish I'd done differently in my data journey. Um, but really document things online, get to know people, learn your tools, and you're not really going to have any issues. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.